is used to do the simple calculations and complex calculations. For example, if you want to if you if you want to do some addition, subtraction, multiplication like that, mathematical operations, logical operations. Uh, in the uh, in, uh, in the APO system, you can do it with the help of the macros. Okay. Yeah. Let me add the points here for convenient purpose. Macros calculations in the macros itself we have advanced macros also they have advanced macros also with this advanced macros so we can perform Using advanced macros, so it can perform complex calculations. Then macros are executed either directly. by the user and interact to planning or automatically at a predefined point during the background job. Which means macros are executed either directly by user. Uh, which means that eh, we can create the macro in the APO. And this macros we can execute it directly. We can uh, we can execute directly. Our users also can uh, can execute directly. The entire demand plan itself only. Or instead of executing directly, we can schedule the job also by adding a macro activity. We can schedule the complete macro activity in the background at a particular time for specified intervals. Okay. We can execute the macro directly, or we can execute it in a background whenever you want to execute it at, 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 particular, at particular certain point of time. If you want to execute, we can schedule it in the background. These options we have with, with, respect, to back, with respect to macros. Okay. Another point is. Macros. Are normally. User are normally created under a specific planning book and data view level. Okay, it means that uh, macros are normally created under a specific planning book and data view level. It means that uh, we have to you must you we had to create a macro under an under a particular planning book and data view level only if you have a planning book and data view or uh, if you want to create a macro for the for the for the particular planning book and data view then only for then only we had to create a planning book for the particular data plan book data, data view without planning book and data view it's not possible to create a macro which means that uh, first of all we had to create a planning book and data view then if you want to put the macros, we have to create a macro and uh, under that, under whichever plan you can do, if you want to put this macro, we have to continue with that. The next. 
um, types of macros. We have different types of macros. Default macro. Types of macros are default. Start the start macro. Level chain macro. Exit macro. These four types of macros we have. Uh, let me give you a description of the one by one. And then the one time I'm verified to show you also you love this default thing. Okay. Whenever never you load the selections in planning book. In planning book and data of you. System calls default macro. Okay, this is our default macro. Start macro. Whenever you, whenever you enter and planning. Interactive planning and loading the selections from planning book. Data view. system calls start macro. Yeah, both default and start, start macro will work at the time of loading the selections. Huh? But the main difference between start and default macro is uh, if, you, if you load the selections, if you load the selections, uh, if you load the selections, uh, the default macro will call. If it once comes out, that means uh, if you do any changes, it means that uh, in that in in that particular uh, planning and data in, in, in that for uh, in that particular selections only. If you do any changes, if you do any changes, uh, default will work. Start uh, start macro at the time of uh, at the time of loading the selections only. It will it will work. The time of loading the selections. If you, if you want to run the stat macro, you had to say you had to load the selections every time, every time, every time. Then only it has to work. But in the default macro, if you was to, if if you assign the macro as default, uh, if any values get changes, then it's automatically the macro will work. That is the main difference between the default and start macro. Level change. Uh, level change. Uh, drill up and drill down. The time drill up, drill down. System calls. level change macro which means that uh, drill, here drill up drill up means nothing but the aggregation disaggregation if you want to see the data if you want to see the plan in uh, planning book data planning book and data with data with respect to the uh, ag disaggregation levels if you disaggregate uh, if you disaggregate if, you if the time of disaggregation uh, if you assign the macro to level change 
it will work at the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, during the like, desegregation time the macro will work okay exit macro exit macro uh, the time of time of save the data system calls exit macro okay these are types of macros uh, let go to uh, let come to the configuration Yes, uh, the T code to create a macro is slash and slash SAP AP or ADVM. Okay, this is a macro, and uh, at the time, uh, initially I told that uh, plan, uh, macro creation is a particular for the planning book and data view level. That means that for a particular data planning book and data view level only we had to we are going to create the macro first of all we have to check for which planning book we had created normally our planning book is gap underscore upl in this planning uh, we created the planning book we created one planning book gap underscore upl in this planning book we are going to create a macro This is a this planning. This is the planning book which I created, and these are the data we see already. Uh, these, these are data we see every month, every month, every year. In that, I am selecting this one. See it. Here, I already created some default macros. Some macros. Uh, Uh, let me open the planning book. Is already I created the macro. In uh, again, I'm going to create create the macro here. This macro. Um, we create uh, we created a macro to calculate the total forecast. Total forecast is equal to forecast plus GAP of room plus manual correction. Sir. Okay, and uh, one more macro is it coloring the total forecast macro. And uh, auxiliary key figures we created. So, uh, first, let, 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 uh, before going to start and macro, first of all, I'm going to delete this macro. Okay, I'm not delete this macro. First of all, I'm going to deactivate this macro. Uh, why? Because uh, I already created the macro. Here. For this planning book and data view. Uh, if you want, uh, if I want to create a new thing, first of all, I have to come from the first part, which means creation and M post, creation and planning area, creation and the planning book and data view, CVCs, key figures. These are things I had to I had to spend that much and I had to spend more time on this. Instead of doing all those things, first of all, I'm going to uh, bring this to normal state. Means that first of all, I'm going to cancel D 
deactivate uh, i'm going to deactivate my all pre uh, my all my my all knuckles which i created uh, which i created Oh, nothing is there. Okay. Let me delete this one also. Then we get exactly clear idea. I make it as zero, sort of forget as zero, nothing in another way to solve there. Let me delete this one also. Why you have to do this? Okay. I save the variable. Then now, now I'm going to start to create a macro. So, what I'm doing. First of all, the steps to create a macro is macro, new macro, macro type. If you see, if it's a collective macro, collective macro means it's a combination of two to three, more than two kilo, more than two macros, it's nothing but collective macros. These things we are going to use in the in the complex situations. But now I'm going to move with the simple calculations. Uh, this assign button, uh, okay, I will tell it later. It's a button. Okay, continue. Okay, this then select a step option. This step, write the description total forecast, total forecast calculation, total forecast. If you want to, the normal the total forecast calculations have to perform for future periods. That's why here I'm selecting for the, if you, if you select the total here, it means it you select the complete uh, past, uh, it selects the past data also. If you, uh, this, this calculation has performed for future, that's why I'm going to select only the future period only. Otherwise, you can select it from directly from the user defined also. In the user defined, you have to represent the date. For 24 months, okay. Uh, continue. Then next. Uh, what is the thing where I had to do? The next other thing is a uh, total forecast is equal to. Let me come to this one. I'm going to create macro with a uh, total forecast is equal to. For cat plus manual correction plus promotions. Okay. Total for cash key figure is equal to for cash key figure plus manual correction key figure plus promotional key figure. For this, I have to create a macro. First of all, what I'm doing, uh, I created a macro. I I created a step. In the step, I, I in the in the step, I am given the range. That means up to what range, up to what periods the value has to calculate. Okay. If 
you see here, this is, this is a step name from where, from when to when, from from uh, 1 2021 to 12 2022 for 24 months. This has to be this has to be worked. Then next. row in the row itself is an row is nothing but here the key figures it will display the key figures automatically if you select the row it will here we get the our default our key figures which we created here the key figures are going to be displayed here now i'm going uh, i'm going to create a macro for the total forecast total forecast from from when from 1 2021 to Value change, yeah, it's a value change. Here we have options like value change, value with uh, value change with following fixing, value change with preceding fixing, adjustment of level fixing, adjustment of level, uh, level fixing. These different types we have. These are uh, here we're going to calculate the uh, automatic calculation. That's why I'm going here uh, selecting the value value change only. So if you want to do with the decimal points, decimal point, uh, decimals like that, we if you have to follow. Then we had to select this valuation with following fixing, valuation with preceding fixing, like that we had for that. But, uh, but now I'm selecting only the value change. Adopt. Okay. Total forecast is equal to. Forecast. Forecast. Plus, plus from where you get the stress option from operator. From operator, you get the stress option. Append. The AP of form. Promotion. Okay. You see here total forecast is equal to forecast plus ZAP of Rome plus and correction set. If you see here, if I if I diagram drop this option, we have given the options like insert and append. Append, which means that it's created line, which means that it's in the same level. Same level. Uh, append, which is not the same level. Uh, which means that, see, if total forecast is not uh, total forecast, if a total forecast is equal to forecast, Plus ZAP program plus manual corrections. This operator functions has to be come under the uh, under in a single level only in the in a single line only. That's why we have select the app and option. Okay. Uh, we cater the macro. Then activate generate this generation completed. Save it. Yes, yes. Now check the results in the endangerment transcript. Okay.
some instruments. I'm sorry. Yeah, what a mistake is I didn't put this map. Here I forgot to assign this to default. Okay. Microsoft. Where is the previously where is or not there? If you see total forecast is called forecast plus CA preference manual promotions. After creation of the macros, we have to assign it to any level. Yeah, I assign this macro default default macro. Previously, it's not it not the results will not display because I didn't assign to anything that to default or level change or start or exit. I didn't. Uh, assigned to any type of the macro after assigning this macro to the uh, default then i get the results in the internet demand panel screen it is mandatory to assign the macro to any type of uh, once we created once we activated that okay then next uh, next is uh, yes uh, color for the total forecast hmm. i'm going to create the next macro so macro uh, same time no issues okay Um, step. I want to color this uh, macro for complete periods. Not only say for complete, for all periods, I have to maintain the color for the uh, macro to identify to identify uh, we, uh, to identify the was the yeah. to identify the it is a total forecast key figure to identify for the purpose I'm going to adding the color okay. uh, just take a take the row total forecast now here I am going to add the color only for the key figure. I would like to put the color. Here I am not making any value for that. Here change mode. Here I am going to selecting the attribute change. Okay. Previously, what we selected here uh, value change. The value change is only for is for the values. If you want to do the calculations, if you want to get the values, this is the value change options we had selected. Here I am going to select the attribute change option. Attribute change options, which means that uh, apart from the values, okay. Operator is equal to row underscore p to maintain colors to maintain colors to maintain colors for the particular p figure we have the we have an operator called row underscore pg row underscore p. with this with this with this we can add the color which means we can if you want to maintain any color to the particular figure with this operator we can do the any we can 
at the curves. Uh, and in the round script, in the, in the brackets, we had to put the numbers. If you want, yeah, I would like to put the green color. Um, otherwise, I could, and I have to use a purple color. You can select the color palette. Yeah, I mentioned color colors. Dot one set is to work. To work. The screen will be unknown, but there is a few with the similar name. What is the issue here is here I'm going to select the see if I don't set here anything. I would like to go with the green color. Accept. Then it says that selected color has color code 12. Just mention the color code as 12. But mention the color code here. Yeah? We have to maintain the space also. Space 12 space. Continue. Save it and make it as a default. I don't know once it's activated, you have to put in the any type of a macro. So here I'm selecting uh, here I'm putting it as a default macro. So come back. Yes. Just load the planning entity one more time. And you get the color. Okay, like this, like this, we can create a macros. Let me come one by one. The art fish. Yeah, Let me uh, let me discuss about one by one step here. Uh, the first step macro. This is the first. Uh, this is the step. This is the initial step where if you want to start the macro, first of all you had to start from the macro uh, from this option. Just drag the drag, drag the option macro. Just drag and drop. Here it it will give the description. Here assigned push button, which means that. See, uh, I already told that in the initial time, we uh, we can create a macro, uh, we can execute a macro interactively, or we can execute it by the background job. Okay, if user want to execute the macro interactively, if user want to execute macro interactively, yeah, you know, what I'm doing here, I'm just assigning one any button here. That means that if 
uh, if I whatever button I selected here, it gets reflected into the entire demand plan screen. If I click on that entire, if I click that button in the entire demand plan screen, the macro will get executed automatically. Okay. Uh, for example. Okay, see here. Uh, let me give you copy. Okay, I already created a macro copy history to auxiliary key figures, which means that whatever the history values are available, it has to copy it in these two key figures. If I insert this, it automatically executed here. Okay, like this, we can execute the macro interactively. This one, uh, this can be done, and this can perform with the help of these things. If you select the choose button, if uh, if it's a uh, first of all, you have to put the assign button. The next step is baddie. Is it baddie? Sorry, baddie or user exit macro, which means that a baddie or user exit macro means uh, if you want to create an, uh, if you want to develop a macro. Instead of you, uh, if you want to develop a macro, if uh, develop a new macro, we can perform with this bad and user exit macro, which means that uh, it's, a de it's a development, new development, it's a new development, which has to be done with the help of this uh, Ababa team also, the Ababa teams. The next step. <laughs> immediately create, uh, after immediately creating the macro, then uh, we should take the step. In the step we have to give them from which period to which period from which period to which period we want these changes okay the next step is, is this a control con conditional planning table okay this control statements is nothing but in the c language we know that the if control statements if uh, else if uh, these are the control statements we have which means that uh, if if uh, if you want to use the uh, any conditional state conditional situations uh, at the time we use this control statements okay uh, for example let me do this so now, let's see if you see this uh, i created a macro to calculate the negative forecast, which means that in the total in the total forecast, if any negative values are there, in the total forecast key figure, any negative values are there, uh, it will create, it will generate an alert. Okay, it will generate an alert. I created a macro for that. Here, what it sees is if control statements. This is the step under this step. I just put the control statement if if condition total forecast less than zero. I put the condition. I started the control statement in the control. I put the condition if total forecast less than zero. Then what I had to do? Alert. 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 You get an alert message. You get an alert message. Okay. And Control statement is get end. Control statement start. Control statement end. In this in the in this between, we create a conditions and put an operators. Put an alert. Okay. In the situations we use this control and condition statements. This planning table. Planning table means here. Uh, if you want to do the calculations for any key figures, for example, I would like to go for the. See in this example itself only. Total forecast. If you total forecast, just I die, die on the row, it will take the key figure. For which key figures we are going to do the changes. Yeah. For this, for the total forecast, if total forecast is less than zero, then generate the alert. Like uh, like that, uh, like for column also, we can perform. Column means here uh, for a particular period. If you want to do perform for a particular period, then you can do it with the help of these things. Okay. Uh, this auxiliary table, uh, the there is nothing difference between the planning and auxiliary table. The main difference between planning and auxiliary table is the plan in here the planning table, whatever the changes is there, it's going to save in the database. But in the auxiliary table, it will not go to save in the database, it will access a mirror image. 
better image that at that particular instance only it will be it will show the changes after that once you come back from this uh, come out from the skin and once if you enter into the skin again it will not show the changes what's the use of this also table image it will not save in the database for the transparent purpose only we are going to use this also tables okay the next is the operator and functions as we see in the time of creation of total focus micro micro step. let's see See if you uh, in the operators we have different different functions like uh, plus minus division uh, and less than less than equal to less than uh, not equal to equal to greater than greater than greater absolute. Uh, these many operations we have. These are these many operations we have. To go detail about these uh, operations one by one, uh, just search in the SAP Help, the SAP Help online portal. There we find the each and every yeah, every functionality of this operator okay here but we are not going to use uh, even here uh, we are not going to use all these things we are going to use this, uh, some required only but if you want to go to uh, you know if you want to know about all these functionalities just uh, just such uh, such in the sap help the sap help you for you get all the about this what are the use of this uh, operations and uh, when we have to use operations like functions uh function if you want to use a functional statements you can perform with this with the help of this uh, element alert i already discussed that in the alert uh, to to generate an alert to generate an alert we we are using this thing process process message also the same functionality of that action box document if you want to mail if you want to mail something somebody we can do it from uh, with this option this is about the elements of the macros and whatever macro we created it get to be saved here in the macros in the macros report macros report we can see the what are the key figures available for uh, for, for that particular planning we can data view we can see here and here types of macros types of macros uh, once we activate the macros we should have to assign the macro to any or any one type of uh, macro if you didn't uh, assign it will not the macro will not execute in the entire demand plan okay, okay. the next is the clipboard if whatever we copied okay, clipboard is nothing but whatever we copied it will get to be displayed here okay this is about the macros whatever i discussed today in this class in this session eh? this is about the simple macros simple 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 calculations eh? but in the real time we will face the different different calculations eh? but different different calculations and different uh, complex calculations we face eh? uh, but the way to create a macros is uh, this uh, what what i discussed in this class, that is the way that is only the way that is only the process we have to create a macros here the difference is the operation operation is somehow different it will depend on the project by project okay um this is about the project this is about the macros from my end um thank you